guys, it's Vanessa from To The Brim. You guys are gonna get sick of me. I've been doing all kinds of videos lately and I wasn't planning on doing this video, but my five oils from Aztec Candle Supply came. So I guess I gotta do a blind scent review. I did by accident see what one of them is, but I have no idea what the other four are. And I don't know where the one that I saw by mistake is in the mix. So let's hope for the best. And I just poured five candles, jar candles that I'm going to list on my Etsy. And I'm gonna get some of my mugs. I actually started taking pictures of the mugs in early December and then got slammed with orders and really didn't have any time to focus on my Etsy. So I do have a handful of mugs that I'm gonna list on my uh, Etsy shop and these five candles. And then I'm getting some more tins. So in the next couple weeks, I'll have my shop back up and running and I'm working on a website, but let's get to it. And do you ever just have one of those days where you're going along and everything's great? And then all of a sudden something comes up or happens and you're just like, that happened to me today. So let's see if this can cleanse my palate, cheer me up. Oh, and I ran out of my tea. So that's a bummer. Okay. So my, my, okay. Let me just back up. It's going to be below zero. So my chickens are in the basement, so you're going to hear them freaking out because they, I, I don't know what to do. They're just going to yell back and forth. Yep, there's nothing wrong. There's no problem. Um, there's literally nothing going on down there. They're in my studio. Two of them are in one dog crate and two of them are in another dog crate. They're perfectly safe. They have food. They have snacks. They need to shut up. Let's get started. I ordered five things that I wouldn't normally order and I ordered 15 oils from the flaming candle last week and I had to order wax for wax melts and I ordered nine more oils that I have never tried before from the flaming candle. So I'm going to have two flaming hand flaming candle hauls coming up pretty soon. I no lavender and I don't not like lavender. It's just, why do I keep getting lavender stuff in? Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. I had, I don't, didn't know what this was. It's bow ties and bourbon bath and body works because I'm still kind of on the search for a masculine scent. I do have Mohe Mohican Talkwood. Yeah. You know, Mohican Talkwood and the Mohican Talkwood candle is so incredibly strong that there's no way that I can have, like if I have a farmer's market booth, I can't have, you know, five of each candle and have like five of them be Mohican Talkwood because my chickens, the mahogany and teakwood oil is just so strong and I have enough oil to make, I don't know, maybe a dozen of those. But as far as longevity, I don't really think that I want to carry mahogany and teakwood year round. It's more of like a fall wintery, like a more, I don't want to call it stuffy, but it's like a heavier, thicker scent. And so I'm trying to find a masculine scent that's a little bit lighter. Uh, flannel is a good one. I found tobacco and bayberry from the flaming candle that I really like. I'm going to do something with that. That's kind of a masculine scent. Black sea is a round masculine scent. It's not that sharp slappy in the face, you know, Abercrombie and Fitch, you know, vents at the mall kind of a thing. But so I wanted to try this because I knew that it was along the same lines of a masculine scent, but it wasn't 
as in your face. I like this, but it is, you know what it is? It's a, it's, it's like flannel with something added to it. I will bet you that the base is pretty similar to flannel. Very similar to flannel actually. And then there's like a layer of something else. So it's not that I don't like it. Um, I think everybody here by now knows that I'm not the biggest fan of masculine scents, but that I'm trying. I could, this would be a good like shower gel scent or something like that. I think definitely a bedroom, bathroom, man cave candle kind of a scent. So it's strong enough that I think that it's mostly a manly candle, but isn't as overwhelming as mahogany teak with it's a little brighter. All right, come on. You know, this makes me so irritated. I, this was definitely the five for five dollar samples from Aztec Candle Supply. So I can't really be too upset, even if this is all trash. But, and I'm going to try to, oh God, I don't like this. This is like, some sort of a cleaner that you use to get dried glue off of linoleum or clean your paintbrushes in after you use paint. Yeah, it has a tinge of paint thinner. I have no idea what this is and I don't get anything that doesn't have good reviews. So this is a mind boggler. This is a, I wasn't called a knee scratcher. This is a knee scratcher. I have no idea what this is or why it got good reviews. It smells like turpentine or paint thinner. And I really hope this isn't the black cherry. Okay, I don't know whose clothesline this smells like, but it's somebody that lives next to a train track and a factory. Like exhaust from a train, grease from the train, and the smoke and the chemicals that are drifting over from the factory, the little blow stack on the factory. So this is clothesline slash train rail yard slash factory folks factory smokestack slash paint thinner and now that I know what it is let me smell it again no that absolutely does not smell like a clothesline unless you've soaked your clothes in gasoline and you thought rinsing them out in the sink in cold water was going to be good enough then that's a very accurate I'm so irritated. I'm not even. This is fruity. It has layers to it, sort of. See, I saw the black cherry, so I keep thinking that every one of them is black cherry, but I hope this isn't black cherry because I know what I want black cherry to smell like. Grapefruit mangosteen. Okay, all right. Okay, because I, this has great reviews, like no matter who is buying it from where. Yeah, I like it. It is, I smell the grapefruit. And I don't know what mangoste, mangosteen smells like, but okay, let me see if I can imagine it in a candle. I can imagine this in a candle on my deck. Uh, in the spring when I'm planting my seeds or in my kitchen when the windows are open or on my dresser or this is I, I think I'm gonna like this one I think that 
I think this is gonna be a good one. I'm gonna end up doing something with this, I think. We have two more. Well, you guys, wait till we get the 15 oils and the nine oils. Those are gonna be good hauls. All right, this is cherry. So the deal with this is when I was, I don't know, it doesn't really matter how old I was. I was like 19 or, nah, 23. I got sucked into party light candle sales and I suck at multi-level marketing kind of thing where there's like one person and a bunch of people underneath that person. And, but party light, which was colonial candle company had a black cherry candle and it reminded me of my dad's pipe and I loved it. So I thought, why not give this a try? So this is black cherry. I think that out of the bottle, it's a little alcoholy, but I think that translated into a candle. And now I'm sorry that I used all the rest of my green jars for candles to sell because I want a big one for myself. And this would have been just a perfect amount. Yep. I like that a whole lot. Last but not least, I really hope I like this one. I'm like in a funk, guys. I'm just like annoyed about something and I wanna be happy. Ooh, wait a minute. This is this reminds me of the Fruit Loops oil that I made a candle for my son with. Would I have gotten pebbles or more Fruit Loops? I don't think so. It has lemon, it's lemon forward for sure. Uh, I guess I knew this. I guess I knew that it wasn't gonna smell like avocado because I ordered this. And then when I ordered the 15 oils from the flaming candle, I actually almost ordered this from them and then read the reviews and somebody was like it's nice but I was really expecting it to be more like avocado and less like citrus I can see why this would make like a good bath bomb or something and it's a definitely a very bright happy scent yes I think I like that very much so they were all nice except for turpentine, gasoline, rail yard, factory, smokestack, clothesline. Um, I hope that was entertaining for somebody. I can't imagine who. But I have, like I said, the 15 oils coming. And what I'm thinking of doing, I did this in my first blind scent review. And I actually think it's really helpful. It does take time. But I can just do it tonight while I'm watching documentary or whatever. What I'm going to do for my future blind scent reviews is, if I have time, which I do for these next two, is I'm going to look up the scent notes for each scent and I will write them out. And then as I smell them, I can go through the list and find it and I can tell you what the scent I just found so many times the oils, they may be named something, but you really need to figure out for yourself what it smells like. Uh, cashmere plum is a good one. It doesn't smell really like cashmere, more like cashmere than plum, but you know, you can use those scent notes, figure out which scent notes are most prominent to you and then figure out what you're gonna call your candle based on that or um, what was the other one? Oh, the red currant. So I call that current, that current, I call that candle current mood, but to me, it smells like current grapefruit and rose. So the, the name possibilities are absolutely endless. And I did order the wax for tarts. I'm going to start making the wax melts. And um, I ordered some smaller labels because I realized those are a little bit big for the wax melt thing. But um, if anybody else watched that video that I posted about giving wax melts a try, I really think it's a great idea at this time when there's such a shortage of everything. And I hope this little quick blind scent review was helpful. I'm sorry I'm not super entertaining right now. I'm just, you know, it's one of those days where I'm like, anyways, I'll see you guys later. 
think about subscribing and uh, liking and all that good stuff. Also, I know that I don't promote my business at all. And I know that's probably not great business savvy on my part. So if you want to check out my Etsy, it's to the brim VT, all one word, and I will have stuff linked. I will have stuff listed fairly soon. And I think it's nice to just check out other people's things to kind of get ideas for yourself. So once I have candles posted, if you want to just check out how my pictures are and my pricing and my scents and stuff to give yourselves ideas or inspiration, that would be great. That'd make my heart happy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.